Hawthorne Composites delivers high value, complex composites. Today, we will be demonstrating the advantages of fabricating a foil and strut for the ORPC RibGen power system. We will be showing the fabrication of a foil using the Hawthorne Composites advantage that includes using custom dry carbon fiber and resin transfer molding with industrial grade epoxy resin. First, the carbon fabric is cut to precise ply shapes using an automated table cutter and the plies are kitted. We are using AMP Technologies braided carbon fabrics for the foil that include unidirectional zero plus minus 45 degree bimax and zero degree plus minus 60 degree Kiso. Now the technician lays up the kitted plies into the upper clamshell and lower clamshell molds. The plies are held in place using a tackifier spray. After a tube bag is applied onto the laminate on the lower clamshell mold, the upper clamshell mold is flipped and lowered into position on the lower clamshell mold. Once in position, the mold halves are bolted together to compress the O-ring. Next, we attach intermediate seal plates. And once secured, the tubular vacuum bag is sealed out to the intermediate seal plates using vacuum tape. Then, we secure pressurization plates to each end of the mold. The pressurization plates allow us to create a reverse autoclave effect in an oven. We are able to apply pressure to the vacuum bag during and after resin infusion to ensure we eliminate voids and fully compact the laminate. After infusion hardware is fastened to the mold and a positive vacuum leak check is performed on the system, the mold is staged onto the infusion stand and plumbed inside the oven. This assembly is performed in reverse order of assembly, and once the clamshell mold is unbolted, the upper mold is lifted away. Next, the composite foil is removed from the lower clamshell mold and is transferred to a hand finishing workstation. Here, the foil is deburred and sanded for part specifications. Now, epoxy foam is poured inside the hollow foil and expands to fill the cavity. A trim and drill fixture is used to drill precise holes. Next, metallic backing plates are bonded onto the foil in three locations, which allow the foil to be attached to the struts at ORPC. The foils are painted with a clear coat epoxy paint to protect them from UV light. The foil was made with a 35% reduction in cost and a 70% reduction in fabrication time. Next, we show the fabrication of a strut using the Hawthorne Composites Advantage that includes using dry fiberglass fabric and resin transfer molding of industrial grade resin. First, 36 plies of AMP Technologies braided Kiso fiberglass are cut into precise ply shapes with an automated fabric cutter and the plies are kitted. Now, the plies of kitted fiberglass are laid up by a technician into their respective clamshell mold halves. Then, the upper clamshell mold is flipped and assembled to the lower clamshell mold. The molds are bolted together and infusion hardware is installed and a vacuum leak check is performed on the mold. Once passed, the mold is installed into the infusion stand, placed into the oven, and plumbed for infusion. An infusion vessel is used to prep the epoxy resin, including elevating the temperature, degassing, and mixing. The infusion vessel allows us to perform an RTM process and to apply pressure during infusion and cure to fully wet out the laminate and ensure full compaction. The part is infused and cured following the resin manufacturer's recommendations. After the cure is complete, the mold is removed from the oven and the demolding process begins. Once the demolding process is complete, the composite strut is removed and prepped for the trim and drill operation. Now, the strut is placed onto a high-speed CNC router bed and is drilled and trimmed to the customer's specifications. Once this step is completed, the part is ready to be inspected and sent to the customer. 
the strut was made with a 20% reduction in cost. Using the Hawthorne Composites manufacturing methods allow us to fabricate complex composite parts that are equal in performance and quality to baseline manufacturing methods at significantly lower cost and fabrication time.